אני יכול לעשות את זה שוב, או אני חייב להוציא את זה לצרחת כדי שלא יעבור בישול יתר. אחד, שתיים. So in skeletal muscle tissue, you take muscle cells and you grow them on scaffold with, a, with the hope to, take, to get a piece of a muscle that you can later implant. And with this technology in mind, we decided to now move to edible scaffold and using bovine cells, cells from cows, to make this piece of tissue edible. So it's a cut of uh, meat that you can really eat. We'd like to restore balance in nature. We believe that by saving huge amounts of lands, of water, by reducing emission of greenhouse gases, we can give back to the earth, to our planet, enough resources to continue and sustain itself. On the other hand, industrial farming has broken the relationship between us and the animals. Looking at animals as mere machines to produce meat, to produce proteins. Producing meat is very inefficient. We are, it costs a lot in terms of water resources, land that we simply don't have. It also produces essentially fecal emissions actually produce about 16% of CO2 equivalents that we have today. So if we want to make sure that our kids can eat the same things that we eat today, then we need to dramatically change the way we manufacture it. Um, if we imagine a process where we grow animal cells and then use that uh, as our food source, then that process is a lot more efficient. We're talking about 10 times less water, less land, and less energy than the current uh, meat production. One of the biggest challenges that I'm seeing right now is the cost of cultured meat production. Um, what started about six years ago with a $2.3 million per kilogram burger today has been brought down to anywhere around twenty dollars to $40,000 per kilogram, uh, either hamburger or chicken or steak. The problem is that this is still very, very far away from the market. If, if you want to go into the market, you are trying to get into the $5 range. Today it takes between two and three weeks to grow a steak, a meat slice in our lab. When we move to commercial facilities, we call biofarms, it will take a similar amount of time. And that's to be compared to two to two and a half years to produce a steak with the industrial farming methods of today.